Hello friends, this is Traveling Geek and today I'm going to show you a new video where I'm going to compare Wi-Fi performance of four specific phones that's the Galaxy S9 Plus, Oppo F1, the Asus 6Z and the Redmi K20 Pro. Now these two phones, the Asus 6Z and the Redmi K20 Pro are the recently launched and having the flagship processors that's the Snapdragon 855. The Poco F1 has a Snapdragon 845 that's the last year's flagship SoC from the Qualcomm and the Galaxy S9 Plus is also having the Exynos 9810 which is equivalent to Snapdragon 845 on the uh, S9 Plus from the uh, from the Exynos side. So the uniqueness about this is that all these phones are slightly away from the Asus Wi-Fi I use uh, in my hall and I'm currently in my bedroom. So the idea is to show you the signal strength uh, I get on the, all the four phones as well as the Wi-Fi throughput using the speed test app. So currently we can, we can see here uh, the S9 Plus is able to provide up to 54 dBm kind of strength, sorry, 62 dB, dB, dBm kind of strength. And uh, it's connected on Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. You can see the frequency here is 2.52. The Poco F1 is able to give a strength of 70 dBm or the fear of it's slightly variable. So still the strongest one compared to the S9 Plus. You can see the difference is quite high, almost sometimes as high as 10 dBm and is also connected on 2.4 GHz. Then I have the Asus 6Z or the Zenfone 6 uh, which is also connected on the 245 to same 2.4 GHz frequency and is giving very similar Wi-Fi signal strength compared to the S9 Plus or in fact slightly stronger than the S9 Plus. And then we have the K20 Pro, okay, which is also having a similar signal strength like the S9 Plus and the 6Z, but sometimes slightly stronger than both of them. But the strongest is definitely the uh, Poco F1, which you know goes having, yeah, I mean, which provides a signal strength as strong as. 55 to 54 db, db, dbm kind of stuff now the most important part all these phones like the s9 plus asus 6z and the k20 pro are having glass back and metal frames the poco f1 is only having a complete polycarbonate body so maybe that's a reason why you know it is able to provide the best signal strength compared to all other phones now let's check out uh, the speed test So here we will select one specific uh, server. So all of them will be having on a same test server. The first I will check with the Galaxy S9 Plus. So as you can see, since the device is slightly away from the Wi-Fi, uh, the speed is not you know exactly what the Wi-Fi is I mean uh, my Wi-Fi connection is having 75 Mbps input and output but the it is definitely affecting the download and the upload speeds both so the maximum speed S9 could uh, give us is 33.5 for the download and 37.9 for the upload let's check with the Poco F1 So quite interesting Poco iPhone is also able to give very similar speed to the S9 Plus. Now I'm checking on the Asus 6Z. So Asus is uh, giving the lowest speed till now in the download but also the highest speed in the upload. Now let's check out the K20 Pro. So in comparison to all four uh, when the Poco was actually giving this highest strength, signal strength in the Wi-Fi uh, but the K20 Pro actually performed the best. I mean, you can see that the, uh, the throughput in the Wi-Fi is 46.5 for the download and 43.7 for the upload and 
the jitter is just 1 ms and ping is 2 ms and the server is same then we have the asus 6z which provided the lowest download speeds of 18.7 mbps and uh, for the download and for the upload it's 42.6 as you can see the server is same as to internet in terms of uh, the ping and jitter it is very similar to the k20 pro that's 2 ms now here we have the poco it's surprising i was actually expecting that the poco will give the best wi-fi speed uh, but it, it has given a lower wi-fi wi uh, throughput compared to the redmi k20 pro is 37.5 and 31.2 and this is the s9 plus which is also giving a very similar throughput like the uh, poco f1 uh, 33.5 and 37.9 so this is pretty interesting and in this test even though the uh, the signal strength was varied on the redmi k20 pro it actually provided the best wi-fi speed so let's do this second round once again we will start with uh, we'll keep this devices slightly away from each other now and let's see we will start with the poco f1 Now we will check with the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now we will check with the Asus 6Z. And finally we will check again with the Redmi K20 Pro. So this is a very interesting part uh, the Poco F1 actually given the highest speed that's the 54.1 for the download and 44.7 uh, the S9 plus uh, was almost equal 40.1 and 40.4 for the download but the K20 Pro which is a recent launch by the Xiaomi you know actually come very close to the Poco F1 which is having a complete polycarbonate body and which actually helps for a better Wi-Fi uh throughput 53.9 and 43.5 this is pretty good for a xiaomi phone which is having a complete metal body and a glass uh very similar to the asus 6z which is also having a similar body design but is actually the lowest uh, performing of the all four phones when it comes to the wi-fi through throughput it's just 23.4 and 37.8 so and this was the round 2 and it's a very interesting uh, uh, you know a uh, very interesting result i have seen uh, the k20 pro is actually doing pretty good uh, and the wifi performance is pretty nice and very similar to the poco f1 so hats off to the xiaomi that despite a glass and a metal body they have done a very well uh, job here so uh, thanks a lot guys watching this comparison video of the wifi throughput of the four phones that's the Poco F1 S9 Plus Asus 6Z and the Redmi K20 Pro this is traveling geek i'm signing off thank you